Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these fire flowers seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step and I'm sure with these instructions you will be able to make it by yourself even if you are a beginner. You could always ask me anything in the comments if you have any questions about the way I'm making them. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks networks and you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy and so glad to see your creations. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 all seed beads or you could use 10 all seed beads if you want. Here I have these earring findings in all gold or copper color. Here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and the pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I want to pull and then I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay just like this and now guys I will go through some beads in this direction Now what I'm going to do next is pick up five of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, and I have my five beads here. And as I'm exiting here through this black bead, I'm skipping one bead and going through the following. You see where I go? This is where my thread is exiting out of this bead. I'm skipping this and going through the following. Okay, then I'm going to repeat it, take five, okay, five again, and I skip the following and go through the next. Okay, and take five more, skip the following and go through the next. Okay guys, and now I'm going to continue these three more times. Okay guys, and with this I'm finishing this row and don't worry that now it bends and moves, we'll fix it later. Okay, so now what I want to do is go through four of these yellow beads, okay, and I want to exit here between those two yellows that are from this side or one yellow bead away from the center and I'm going to pick up one black bead. And I'm going in the same place between those two yellow beads here. Okay, like this. 
then I will repeat it, go through these beads exiting at the same place here and I'm taking one black and I'm going here then I go through two more and I'm here at the same place and I add just one black bead okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, now I have this and I'm going to start my next row and for my next row guys I need to take five of these beautiful light orange beads you see five of them again and I skip this central bead that's sticking out the most and I go through the following okay just like this then I exit at the same place here next to this bead that's sticking out the most you see where I'm exiting and I need five more okay I have my five I skip the one that's sticking out and I go through the next three beads the yellow the black and the next yellow and again I'm exiting here one bead away from this one that's sticking out the most and I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay I have five skip one and go through the next three and again five skip one goes to the next three okay I'll do these three off camera if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind and see this part and repeat it from here and I'll be back in a while okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last orange beads from this row and now guys what I want to do is go here in my next light orange beads okay I'm going all the way to the top like this and one bead after the top the bead that's sticking out the most and I'm here again between those two side beads and what I need to take is white one light orange one black and one light orange beads okay and I'm going in the same place one bead away from the top bead and between those two side beads okay now I go here you see between those two light orange side beads okay and I pull now I need the same thing light orange a black and a light orange go here and I will continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and now I need a light orange a black and a light orange okay this is what I have and I'm going in the pl same place between those two side orange beads okay and now my row is ready and I'm going to start my next row that will consist of five dark orange beads okay one two three four five dark orange beads and as I'm exiting here one one bead away from this top most sticking out the most bead I will skip it and I'm going through the following okay and I pull then in my next step guys 
I want to go through the next four beads orange, black, and two orange beads. Okay, here I am. And now I'm one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most. And I'm going to pick up again five orange beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm skipping the bead that's sticking out the most. And I'm exiting here one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most. And here, guys, I will repeat the same thing. Okay, and I will continue this three more times. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here and I'll be back. Hey guys, and I'm here where I just added these five last beads. And I also went through this orange and this black afterwards. And what I'm going to pick up next are three of these beautiful orange beads, dark orange beads. And I'm going in the same place between those two side beads, side orange beads. Then I'm going through the center one and through the next. Okay. And what I need to take now are orange beads just like this and I'm going here through this black one okay now what I need to take are three orange beads and I'm going here in this orange and I also went through the next one and I want to go through one more then again, I need three orange beads and I'm going to go through this black bead afterwards. Then I need three orange and go here. Through these three central beads. And I'll show you one more time. Okay, three. Go through this central black one. Okay. And now, guys, I will continue this until the end of this row. Take three, go through these three top beads. Take three and go through this black. Okay, I will continue this. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see how I do this part and repeat it from here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do next is go here through those four beads next to this bead that's sticking out the most. And what I'm going to pick up are five red beads, five again. Okay, I have my five here. And as I'm exiting through this bead, I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most. And I'm going through three orange beads. Okay, like this. Now what I need is one black bead. And I'm going here through the next three beads through the next three orange beads and I pull and what I need to take next are three red beads sorry five red beads and as I'm here I skip the one that's sticking out the most and I go through three dark orange beads okay and I pull now you see what I have now here what I need is one black bead, just one. And I go here through these three orange beads. Then I take three, uh, sorry, five red beads. Five. And I skip one. And I go Again, I go through the three orange beads that are after that. Okay, 
and I'm going to take just one black bead again through three beads okay guys and I'm going to continue until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next and here I am guys and pay attention in my last step where I'm going I go through this orange again in the same place like I did before and now this row is finished you see um, how this pops up from this side and I like this effect so much and now what I need to take are three red beads okay and as I'm exiting here through the first orange after the black I will go here between those two red beads that are from this side and one bead away from the top then I will go in the same place through the top bead through the next one I'm exiting through these three beads here okay like this and now I go here through the orange that is next to the black and if you can in one movement you could also go through the orange through the black and through the following orange okay now I have this and in my next step I'm going to pick up three more and as I'm exiting here through the orange I go through this red one then again through the next two red beads and I need three and I'm going in this direction through as many beads as I can okay and here in the orange okay guys and it is the same thing continue this until the end of this row if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video and see how i do these parts and repeat them everywhere and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and again i'm going through these three beads after this it might be a little bit difficult and if you want here is the place to use your pliers okay and now what I want to do next is exit here at the top from the bead that's sticking out the most and now I will show you how to attach your earring finding here it is and I will attach it with a black color it's up to you to choose which color you want okay so I take one seed bead uh, my earring finding and one seed bead and I'm going back in circle through this bead here okay now I have this and I'm going to reinforce my work okay guys and what I do now as I'm here is that I need to make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop and going once and going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following two beads just like this and I will cut my thread okay and now my earring is ready okay guys and now my fire flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually two or three times a week you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that 
that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram wherever you like mainly on Facebook or Instagram wherever you like and you could also check my second channel with the fast clips again link in description thank you so much for watching bye bye from me